Tommy and Ray with their, they, they've had an interesting relationship so far, safe to say. What can we expect from them going forward? What do we, what can we expect going forward? Well, you'll, you'll see an unraveling of the mystery, but uh, just remember that I am dealing with my older brother. This guy was my older brother. I looked up to him. He taught me a lot of stuff. And now he's turned bad. At least we believe he has. And I've threatened to kill him if he gets close to us. So uh, I'm convinced he's uh, not the guy I knew. Uh, could he be wrong? Could I be wrong? Yeah. I think I could easily be wrong. <laughs> you never know what the writers are going to do for you. In the next couple episodes, are we getting a lot of your backstory further into his time spent on the island itself? There's an awful lot of cast. There's an awful lot of things going on. So, uh, you know, there's only so much you can do in an episode. You notice one time I got uh, uh, kidnapped. So uh, that was the only episode in which I had a lot to do. But um, will we find out more about uh, Ray? I suppose we will. Um, but I cannot tell you what that is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> At the panel, it was teased that we might find out what's in the room. Can you expand upon that about your reaction to? Uh, my reaction was um, first of all really surprised because it wasn't at all what I kind of expected. It was I had an idea of what it might be like, and then we used what I thought what it was going to be like in a previous scene to the very last scene. So I thought, oh my God, so it's not even what I thought it was going to be, it's something else. So now that I know what it is and what exists in that room, and it, you kind of have, have, have at the surface, you kind of think, okay, that's kind of interesting. But actually, if you start looking at the details of what's written on things, you go, oh my God. Uh, and uh, you have to be quite observant about what is written on things. Via Twitter and you know other forums, have you gotten a lot of feedback? Because I hope you know that the fans love the Warden, and they have always asked me about your accent. They yes. wanted me to ask, you know, were you? Directed? Are they criticizing the accent? No. Oh, good. No. Sometimes they ask me for an interpretation. Okay. But they want to know, were you directed to use a specific accent, or was it your own creation? The accent is peculiar because. Can't do any other accent. No, no, no. It's 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 what it is. It's, it started off. Um, it, the original writer, which was uh, uh, Liz Sarnoff, uh, wrote in a specific, very specific kind of a way. She'd done a lot on, de on Deadwood, mm -hmm. so there's that richness of the language that they use on Deadwood, and um, and so when she kind of gave me the character, she said, uh, "This is the kind of language that he has, but I don't want it in a southern accent." And I just thought, but it reads in a southern accent, it, it plays in a southern accent. And she said everybody who came into the audition room played it in a southern accent. And so my battle is always to sort of say that kind of language and keep pulling back on the, the, the elements of southern that are, are in there. Uh, and all the writers have sort of joined in on Liz Sarnoff's trying to make it as rich and as complicated and as flowery and fruity as they possibly can for me. And again, I'm still trying to rein back the southern in it. And uh, that's, that's kind of fun, really. It kind of stops me doing the, the natural thing. It just allows me to sort of uh, to be in some sort of a no man, nowhere, no man's land sort of thing. Because the American accent is, I can do it in, 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 a normal, in a normal language. And I can do a southern. Trying to do that sort of dangling thing, that's that's kind of Liz's fault, it's not my where, where is your character from? In the States? Well, you know, I, I, I'd like to say that he was he's kind of from California, but I mean, <laughs> he's obviously not. Okay, all right, so in Boston, I mean, somewhere in no, the... No, he's not in Boston, he's not in Boston, he's not a Boston guy, is he just sat come as close as Boston? No, I mean, no. somebody uh, who's cultured, somebody who grew up in the East, or maybe uh, taught some big college, you know, I've asked myself that question too, where does he come from? I, uh, to be honest with you, I haven't asked that of myself, I just kind of, I, I haven't a hard enough job trying to sort of hold on to the, the accent that I have, you know, to just work with that. So, uh, but I think there is a southern element to it, yeah, for sure. Okay. So it's from the south somewhere, I guess. So going into the season finale, how many, how many questions do you think your characters really have about what's going on? I mean, because obviously how many you're, questions you're, you're in the have? dark, you're also a little bit more in the dark than, than I think a lot of people assume. 
assumed at the beginning of the season. So, how, how much in the know are they? This is season two? Yeah. Oh, they will be more, the audience will be more? No, 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 your character specifically. I mean, are there still a lot of questions in their mind as to what's going on oh. above and beyond? All right, so we can search. When you go into uh, the fact that we open the door to that room, the warden's room, as it were, and you see what's behind it, that answers a lot of questions. It also opens up a whole lot of other questions, but uh, it certainly answers questions, uh, uh, some, of the, uh, answers some of the questions that people have been asking, so that it becomes quite fulfilling. It's not a, it's, nobody's going to be decide, um, denied anything, really. But we're not going to give the whole game away, because we, we've got a show to do. You know.